Hi, Advanced PE. My name is Mr. Kinlaw, and I am very excited about being your PE teacher this year. I really appreciate you picking this class, and I know that it's a real opportunity for you to enjoy this part of the school that's very different from other parts. I think there are a lot of very valuable life skills that students can take away from this class and put into use in a number of different ways throughout their lifetime. Our class is not about making any particular time on a run or any type of winning or losing record at the end of the year. The most important thing I think you can pull out of this class when all is said and done is having experiences in leading groups of people with a common purpose to reach a common goal. Sometimes we do that in sports that are competitive. This usually means that we pit one team against another. Many times we'll play games that do exactly this. Playing these games together though, you'll know that today's adversary is tomorrow's teammate. So sportsmanship, fair play, and the positive attitude are the long game strategies that will make you successful. As we start remote, our class is going to be very different than a normal start would have been. Some of you may prefer the way that we start remotely, while others, no doubt, would have preferred a different start. Regardless of our preference, here we are. So I'm committed to making the best of our situation, and I hope you'll join me in doing your best as well. Here's what you need to know in terms of class structure for the upcoming weeks. Our class will be taught live each afternoon during our i PE time. I will be present each day on Bloxy to greet everyone and give everyone the activities, workouts, skill lessons, or other setup for the day. My Google Classroom page will have assignments each day that you will need to turn in. I have to have those assignments turned in each day. The assignments will usually be one or maybe two questions for you to answer. I promise not to overwhelm you with any kind of written work, but I cannot emphasize enough the importance of you answering the daily assignment question. Each day we'll have a workout that will be short. For the purpose of remote learning, each workout that you do at home during our class time will be no more than 15 to 20 minutes long. Each workout will include warm-up exercises, fitness exercises, and skill work within it. I'm going to ask that you please stay in view of your Chromebook during the workout time so that I can give you a participation grade as you earn it. At the end of class each day, I'll have a quick video teaching a quick health topic. After watching that video, you'll be able to answer the question of the day. Your grade will be determined by averaging together your participation in the physical part of class along with the daily question. So, a quick run through of what our 30 minute class period will be. First, we will check in on time each afternoon. Second, you'll follow along with the workout and skill for the day in view of your camera on your Chromebook while I play a video for you on Bloxy. Third, at the end of the class, I'll show you a short health video describing a health topic of the day. The last thing you'll do each day will be to click on the question of the day and answer that question by submitting it to me through the Google form on my Google Classroom for that day. These can be found in the Classroom Classwork tab of my Google Classroom. If you forget to watch the video and turn in that assignment, then you need to turn it in as soon as possible. I have to grade those assignments by the Sunday of the week that they're assigned. Here's what we're building for when we return to the actual physical school. I would love to have each of you be on the path to daily intentional exercise whose goal is to make you more fit each day. Secondly, I want you to be working on skills at home by yourself or with family members that will help you when we start playing various sports together in class. A number of sports use the same skill sets, but they may use them in different ways. If you've been practicing throwing and catching in general, then that practice pays off in softball and tennis and lacrosse and anything else that involves depth perception and hand-eye coordination. Third, my plan is to have our class jump right into sports when we return. I know we all cannot wait to get into some good, fun, competitive play. I also want to make you aware that each of our classes will be videotaped on Bloxy. I will post that video under the day on the Google Classroom that it took place. This is all new to me as well. 
So if videos won't post from Bloxy or if something else goes wrong with the technology, I'll figure it out with your help, I'm sure. But I'll post anything that doesn't go up immediately on Bloxy in its individual parts. I'll be filming different videos and kind of splashing them together on Bloxy. So if Bloxy doesn't work, you'll see a bunch of different videos under that day. If you miss class one day, um, you'll still be able to pull up that video, see our workout, skill practice, and health lesson in order to answer the question at the end of the day. Any day you miss class, I cannot give you a participation grade. It's very important that you attend class, participate in class, and turn in that question of the day. I know I'm ready to get this year started with you. So let's go have some fun, and I will look forward to seeing you in class very soon.